Good morning. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this little doggy. Now, I've used these three colours to create this kind of like a gingery, orangey colour. I'm using edible modelling paste for this one. And as you can see, I've rolled my modelling paste into a teardrop shape. And I'm placing it over my rolling pin. And now I'm going to go in with my Dresden tool and create some fur effect. You can find links in the description for everything that I'm using here to make this little doggy. I'm going to take another piece of my modelling paste and I'm going to start out by rolling it into a teardrop shape. But then I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to put a lot more pressure on one side so that you're going to have a fatter side and then a thinner side. And I'm using my thumb to create an indentation. I'm going to use my knife now to create little claws. <laughs> I don't know, paws, that's the word. And then I'm going to place that back leg on. I'm going to go in again with the dress until it creates some fur. And I've gone ahead and done the same with the other leg. Now we're going to make the two front legs. So as you can see, I've rolled out a piece of my modelling paste into a long cylinder shape. And I'm going to use my finger and press down on one side to create the paw for the front leg. Once I've created the fur and the paws again, I'm going to go in with my blade and I'm going to cut this in kind of like a diagonal shape. And that way it's going to sit neatly on to the front of your dog. Do that with the other leg and then we're going to do the same with this dress until and fur it out a little bit. So this was a cake topper that I made of a lady's wee dog and it had a nice wee furry chest. So I'm adding in some extra layers here to give it an extra furry chest. To create the head I've started out with a ball and I'm using my fingers to make it more narrow in one side. That's going to create the mouth area and then as you can see I'm pressing down and I'm pulling the other side up a little bit and that's where the eyes are going to be. Now I'm going to create a little line down the front. This is where the mouth area is going to be and you can see that I'm creating a line and then I'm pulling it apart. Now this part at the bottom, you could leave that if you wanted a wee mouth but I didn't really like the look of it so I've just taken it straight off and added in a wee mouth of my own. Adding in some fur again. Then I'm going to place a nose on and some eye sockets. So this wee dog had lovely big brown eyes, so I'm going to add some brown fondant in the eye sockets here. And then I'm using this shaper tool to give him some kind of shape around his eyes. I'm adding in another piece of modelling paste on the top of the eye here and this is just going to build the wee dog's face out to make it look more like a dog where it's not completely smooth. If you've been here for a while you're going to know that I love my edible dust so this is the fun part for me. I'm going in with terracotta and brown dust and all those lines and creases that I've made I'm going to add a bit of dimension and colour in. You can skip this bit with the edible dust but I'm sure you'll agree it really makes this wee doggy come to life. I realised the body wasn't as furry as I liked so I'm adding a little bit more fur on and as you can see I've used a teardrop piece of fondant for the ear here and I've rolled it really really thin and I'm just creating that fur effect once again. I'm just playing about with it until I get it to the right sort of shape and then again I'm going in with my edible dusts. created a nice little tail for our wee doggy and we're doing exactly the same thing we're giving it loads of fur and yet you guessed it more edible dust I hope you
hope you find this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.